Day 30. Today journey's end. Had a bit of a blowy night. Uh, and I think between us, me and Toby probably got about five hours sleep. But the tent stood up okay. But we know that today, about midday, that wind's going to get even more intense. So that old old adage of make here while the sun shines, well, I suppose ours is make here while the wind's not blasting your head off. When I was in my early 20s, I got given a book. And the book was by a guy called Hamish Brown. In his 40s, he gave up the job he was doing and decided he was going to walk the Munros in one continuous trip. He was the first person ever to do it. And he wrote a book about it. He called it The, um, the Long Walk. And I'm not an avid reader, uh, but I read that book from cover to cover. Uh, and I've read it lots of times since. I think in some ways it inspired me to do all the Munros and finish all the Munros this year. Kept going back and reading little snippets of it. Um, but the book kind of inspired me in lots of ways because it was about somebody making a change um, and doing something that they'd always desired to do. Now there's no way that I could have ever done anything like he did. I haven't got the mental or the physical capability to do that. But I have this. So I kind of think that um, uh, the Scottish National Trail was my equivalent of Hamish's Long Walk. common thing on long walks like this to spend some time reflecting on things um, one of the things obviously is reflecting how lucky I am to have my wife Judith three lovely sons Sean Adam Matthew and a great family and friends they're very fortunate to have those people in my life. But for me as well, this walk has been more about uh, looking forwards, not looking backwards. Me and Judith have both just retired in our lives. So it's a new beginning, more adventures. Just like this one. Just look at this, what a wonderful wild place this is today. I've just come over this rise and we can just see the very, very top of the lighthouse. Just the very tip of it.
here's the red flag. It's flying. So um, obviously not allowed to cross at this point. So this is the Bay of Keyskeg, I think the pronunciation is. Uh, and this is my journey's end as far as the Scottish National Trail goes. Uh, the red flags are out, we can go no further. But we have glimpsed the lighthouse, and what is it, about 5-6k away? So maybe only 5-6k away, but unfortunately, this is journey's end. But actually, what a place to have your journey's end. Beautiful.